boxes. Look at these. Look at these boxes. These boxes look really good. There's not really too much information. It says at the top here, like these cards, are, I believe uh, the Zora was holographic in here. And obviously the lead is holographic as well. Yes, I will be getting English versions. I've already pre-ordered all the English cards. Um, nothing on the bottom. Sides are the same. And just Japanese information on the back. Alright, so let's get this started. I'm going to open it from the bottom. That's a little alarming considering, you know, it did come out this week. Alright, so nothing else in the box. Ooh, ho ho. Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, yeah, they're clean. That's clean. Alright, so all of them, I imagine, come with this, which is a rule book and a... There you go. There's your little um, play mat. Paper play mat. Classic. Your life, your cost area, your don deck, trash deck. And then on the other side, we've got... Uh, these are all the rules. I believe they've, they've actually um, officially posted... The English versions of these are on the Twitter, I believe, and also on the official website. So if you want to see how to play the game, you can definitely go ahead and check it out. And now the problem with these is it's always hard to get them back the exact same way. Okay, there we go. Done. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at these cards. Oof. Yeah, that's fresh. That's fresh. We got the back. They're actually taped. No, they're not taped together. All right. Here we go. Okay. Come on. And here we go. Oof. That's squeaky clean. Yeah, that's that's really good. I love the uh, the foiling of that. So this is the Luffy leader card. Main ability, you can get a rested Don and you can put it on one of your characters or your leader. He's very good. And also the leaders have the red backings. Very, very nice. How much are the decks? I believe in Japan, these decks are around like, they're less than $10 US, I believe, each of these decks. So we got VV with like no effect. It does have the counter though, 1000 counter. So it means that when your opponent attacks you, you can send this from the hand and make your character get a thousand power during the attack. Oh, wow. The card quality is so good. These are very, very high quality cards. We got Frankie, 6k power. He's a tank. We got the, uh, the Brook. 2,000 counter, by the way, which is very good. And we got the uh, the foil Luffy. Oof, this Luffy's very nice. Is he the one with Rush? You give him two Don, and then he he gets Rush, so he doesn't get Summoning Sickness. And I do have another version of each of these starter decks already sealed anyway, so it's not the end of the world. And we got these counter cards. So these cards you can play to, like... With, if it's got the little red box, it means that you can play it during the middle of a battle. So as I gain 3,000 power. Very cool. I, lo I love the manga artwork. It's so good. Diablo Jumbo. And we got the stage card as well. And then we have the Don. So you get um, 10 of these Dons, which are basically like your energy. And actually, something that was really cool that came in my um, in my box with the, when I got it delivered. I didn't order these, so I, I think the, these must come with the orders of the starter deck or something. But I ended up getting like these sleeves. They're, they're just they're, they're Don sleeves. So I believe there's like 10 in a pack. Yeah, there's 10 sleeves in each pack. So each of the decks can have like the Don sleeves. So that's actually kind of neat. I didn't ask for that. I didn't order that. So that's cool. So that's one half of the deck. And then you got the secondary half that we have here, which has the uh, foil Zora on the front. Very neat. There's actually a really cool Zora that's in the, um, in the main set. It's actually very, very good. Yeah, dude, I'm going to be going to my super pre-release that's um, close near me. It's going to be so, so sick. So here we have Zora. Very neat. I like the uh, the foiling and then you get like the manga artwork of Zora on the front. It looks so good. So we'll go ahead and sleeve him up. Then we got the Usopp. So if you're planning to like buy these starter decks and like actually play with them, sometimes there's only two versions of a card in, in a deck. 
So you may need to buy two of them to get the full playset. This Sanji is very good, by the way. So when you play a, a, a character card, you, they can't attack the, the turn that they're played. But um, this Sanji, if you give him two energy or two dons, he can attack the turn that he's summoned. So um, when you do that, he'll have 6,000 power because you give him two dons. So it's actually like not bad. You get Jinbei, who's a powerhouse. And you got Chopper, who's a blocker. And then you got Nami. That artwork is really cool. Even though it's anime artwork and it's not as good. Oh, and there's Robin. <laughs> Shout out to the simps in the chat. <laughs> Shout out to the simps. And we got Robin, and that's going to round out the deck. So that's the whole deck right there for the uh, for the Straw Hats, including all the foils, of course. So in my opinion, this deck is like just okay. It's okay. Definitely a deck that works, but probably not the most optimal deck that you can use. So here's Kaido's deck. Now, a lot of people are going to be excited to play Kaido, but I hate to burst people's bubble. Uh, Kaido, in my opinion, is probably the worst starter deck. It's hard, because, like, Kaido, he's an interesting... It's an interesting deck. Uh, it's very... It's a very risky deck to play. So, once again, comes with the same... Same thing. Have a look at that. Kaido and King. Woo, baby! So here's the Kaido leader. Oof. So Kaido's leader ability requires you to put seven of your mana or your Don cards back into your Don deck. And then you can essentially immediately KO one of their life cards. It's a good effect, but for minus seven Don, I don't think it's that good. <laughs> it's too expensive, is what it is. Oh, we got some foil Kaidos right at the front too. So he's a nine drop. He costs nine to play. But he has 10,000 power. I don't know the actual ability of this Kaido. But have a look at this bad boy. Oof. That looks really... Dude, Kaido looks so clean with the white shirt on. Super clean, dude. I can't wait for these cards to come out in English. Ooh, Jax... This just Jax really good. Actually, yeah, this, this queen's not bad. Uh, then uh, you're going to have to just wait until I uh, upload the video on the YouTube channel, my friend. Oh, this card's actually pretty good. Brachiobomb is actually pretty good. Borobrest is actually not bad. The event cards are pretty good. And obviously the state... Oh, this stage card is so busted, by the way. So busted. Not too shabby. Like, the this part of the deck is actually good. But it's just, a lot of their effects are basically, like, put Don that you have on the field back into the Don deck. And if you do that, it, uh, it puts you back because it means you have less mana to play with or less energy to play with. You have to wait more turns for it to, to, for it to generate. Which is why the stage card is very good. If you get the stage card very early on in the match, the Onigashima stage card, it makes the deck work a little better for sure. He's a six six cost, seven thousand power. He hits really hard. He is a problem. This man is a problem. Shout out to the ulti simps. I know that there's a couple of people in the chat, surely. And I believe her effect is like, if you play her, you can like play page one from your hand or something. Sasaki's okay. Yeah, just a filler card. Sheep's Head. Uh, Jin Rummy. Black Maria. She's a blocker. She's okay. Two drop for 2k blocker. And here's the page one. No ability. X Drake. No ability. So yeah, that's Kaido's deck. Nothing really too crazy, to be honest. Alright, let's save best to last. Let's go with uh, the, the kid starter deck next. I wonder if the English versions of these starter decks are going to have the same kind of packaging. Because I know that um, I, I collected a bit of Digimon when Digimon first came out. And the starter, deck, uh, the starter Deck's packaging between the Japan and the English version were completely different. Completely different. Like, basically, the Japanese versions of the Digimon Starter Decks, like, you have the deck in, in a box in case the size of the deck. And that was it. <laughs> it, was, it was nothing. Um... And in the English release, they actually gave you a booster pack from the first set inside the um, starter decks. So I hope that they do that. I think that'd be pretty neat. Alright, so we got uh, the Supernova deck this time around. This is a very good deck, by the way. But here's uh, Eustace Kid. This guy's pretty good, actually. His ability, you can rest three of your energy and you can set one of your characters, I believe. Either himself or another character back to active. I think that's what it is. So you, like, you attack with it, when you rest it, you use his ability, and you can make another card active again to attack again. It's pretty good. If you just look at One Piece card game, it should show up. 
Or if you look up like Bandai on the App Store and you look under their released applications, it should um should show. Killer Hawkins is pretty good. Oh, and here's the uh, the Eustace kid that you get inside the uh, the deck. So he's a blocker. 7k blocker. <laughs> this guy is a problem. 7k blocker. This man is a fiend, bro. He's a fiend. I'm not a big fan of this artwork because like he's so far away. Not a big fan of that. I mean, he's still still pretty cool though. Where's the uh, where's the where's the really goaded card in this deck though? There's like one card in particular that's like really goaded. And like all the event cards for green are really good. Really, really good cards. And then all the Don. Showed up in the front. There we go. Oof. Yeah, that's spicy. So the secondary half of the deck, we got Vito. Capone, who is a blocker. Kobe, who's just... I don't, Kobe doesn't make sense in this deck. Like, this is the only card that, like, is kind of doesn't make sense, but it's fine. This is the card I was talking about. Jewelry Bonnie. This card is your searcher, essentially. It allows you to search for other supernova cards. Very, very good. Scratchman Apu. You got Heat. And you got Bepski. There you go. Green deck's very good. Their event cards are great. Kids got a great ability. They've just got... Uh, and obviously, they've got the Searcher and Jewelry Bonnie. So, it's just, it's just huge. We have, in my opinion, the best starter deck. Sir Crocodile. Look at this smug-ass face right here. Hell yeah. Crocodile. Very um, thick stock. They're thick with two Cs, actually. Have a look at this. Ooh, fresh. Fresh, dude. Very, very neat. So his ability, you can send four of your Don, four of your energy back to your Don deck, and you can bounce a card with cost of five or less. Being able to just bounce a card whenever you need it, very valuable. And then we have two foil crocodiles right here. And this guy's a blocker, and I think he's on block. Can't remember exactly. I think I don't think he bounces. He does something when you block with him with a Don. Again, I love the manga art with the foil background. It just looks so good. Looks so good. Yo, tell Reno, how you doing, my friend? All right, so um, Gecko Moria, I believe he like allows you to grab a Warlord card from your trash. So he's pretty nice, like a Monster Reborn kind of thing. Mihawk super good. When he attacks um, and you go to Don on him, you can draw two and discard two. So hand filter obviously works well with Moria because you can discard two and then Moria allows you to search when you unplay him. And Sentomaru, man, the Sentomaru, just using his ability to just search a passive feaster out of the deck and play it onto the field, incredible. You got Blackbeard, uh, I don't exactly remember what Blackbeard does, looks like he bounces a card with three or less cost, or something like that. This card's nuts, bounce a card that's seven cost or higher to your opponent's hand. You got four of those. Thrust pad cannon, just being able to bounce a card with three or less. Like just, this, this deck is all about bouncing cards back to hand. Or at least a lot of the effects are. And this one is gained 4,000 power. And if you have three or less cards, you can draw a card. I think that's what it is. And then 10 Don. That, that's already an incredible first half to the deck. Have a look at this. Dude, this is a fresh looking card. Look how, man, look how long my man's fingers are. Holy. My man got hot dog fingers. Jesus. So we got Edward Weevil. With the laser eyes. Dun, dun, dun. Jimbo. Old mate Jimbo. We got... Uh, oh, Law. He's really nice. He's a one... One drop blocker. And obviously works well. So, something that's interesting, right? I don't know if you guys really care about it, but I'm saying it anyway. I don't care if you, if you don't care. But, there's a really cool interaction, because with the way this game works... When you when your opponent attacks one of your cards, you, and if your card's got blocker, you can say, "Oh, I'm gonna block it with my law." So you block it, and then you can play Thrust Pad Cannon from your hand, and this card bounces a card with three or less cost back to your hand. So you can use your own Thrust Pad Cannon on your law that you've blocked with. You can bounce law back to your hand, and it fizzles your opponent's attack because there's no more target. So you can block it to redirect it, and then you can bounce it back to hand. It's so good. Such a cool combo. So you got Bartholomew Kuma. 
Buggy, oh, shout out to the god right there. And then these are the pacifistas that you can search your deck for with the Centamaru combo. Oh my god, chat, I lost. I lost. I lost. And she is also a blocker with three costs, so you can thrust pad cannon. I'll give I'll give Bo a Hancock a thrust pad cannon. Hold up. Oh, holy. <laughs> Alright, so those are all the starter decks. Um very, very cool. And when I get them sleeved up, we'll be able to uh, play some games. Let's go. Yeah, hey, yo. 